Brown the Marshall calls the start of France against Israel. Israel moving up the flanks. But definitely splitting out, uh, leaving that centre open, but taking the opportunity to attack the uh, French. Uh, Sharp moves, and we've got a run and out. It's a great cross there in the middle. Fortunately, it came to nothing because the Israel's very well brought the first French rally fighter is down. But two of the are down. France with the advantage now. French this is um, some fast moves against the Israeli on the side of your Sharping up nicely, but he's being chased down by the French, but he grabs onto the list, which is quite fortunate. Takes some strikes to the head, though. They're not in a good position there. France still with the upper hand, desperately trying to pull down these Israeli fighters who are trying to use the space as much as possible. Disengaging. Unfortunately, he seems to have lost his weapon, it looks like, uh, on the top of your screen. He needs yeah, and he can't get through. Of course, he can't attack any fighters. Without him, they try to trip him, he does and, he's got, and he's gone. Smart fighting there from France. There is one more fighter to down there. Do we have two? Okay, Israelis we've got two. Yeah, there's a bashing here, unfortunately. And they're holding on. I can't see this ending well. I think the marshals will actually intervene at this point. It is five waiting, against waiting. two, heavily outnumbered. The Israelis hanging on. It may be better just to concede this indeed, round, indeed. but they're not people who are likely to give up easily. Definitely Still not. holding on, and the marshal calls it As down there from France, but. Uh, once again, engaging as well, he's already been taken down, and you can see the frustration there. Marshall, I think, is uh, intervening. He appears to have lost his weapon again. Uh, uh, no, no, mate, he hasn't. No, he's just taking the opportunity to, uh, to cross the field. No, he did have his weapon. I apologize about that. You can see uh, that is the captain of Israel, Mikhail Morgulis. There's some big hits coming down, and they're, they're going to have to move very, very quickly. He needs to move to help his teammate out. Which, which fight he decides to get involved in is, is really the key. He can't get too tangled up. Um, helping either one of them because he'll lose the advantage of being a runner. And that's it, and they've taken down this run. It is now. And now he's getting caught up with another fighter. It and that's it. Again, they've, they've got good numbers here, the French. It looks like it's five against two here. But he's, but he's got it away. Again, he is so smooth, this fighter. Um, unfortunately, the other team called. member has gone down. Uh, him, fantastic. Yeah, but they've had to remember that the, the Spanish are very fast, but already there is a runner there. A close uh, takedown. It has started raining. This is not going to do the Spanish or Australians any favours at all. And a big slam there into the list. However, he did hold on. And the Spanish fighter is down already. Charges into the Spaniard who has gotten him onto the list. Some great movement here from the Australians. However, the Spanish are fighting back. Big blows there coming to the back of the Australian head. Uh, Australian giant Chris Fogwell uh, getting beaten from each every angle, but uh, doing some massive polearm hits there. And Throwing down the Spanish down. The Australians, uh, the Spanish are trying to use the space uh, very well, trying to evade uh, these attacks by uh, running crosses, not hold on to it. It does make Australia for a great spectacle. And a Spanner down at the top of your screen. The versus Australia, the Australians flanking them. The Spanish wanting to keep the fight in the centre of the list really as much as yet. possible. Two shots off to the uh, south side of the well, That's a big blow there uh, from the Australian, but he takes the run, goes straight into the list, and the Australian is down. The Spanish, there are two Australians down. The Spanish will have to capitalise on this advantage that they have. They are keeping moving. Okay, Unfortunately, yeah, can't okay, quite yeah. grab the Australian there, but he's not in a good position. If he gets up on the list, he might be able to hold on for some um, more important time. But big problems for the Australians now. Yeah, and that's taken down. Ashing into the UK fighters, looking to take them down, trying to sweep out their legs. That's Colin from Campbell the list. And then you have another movement there. The UK fighter is down. The UK now chased down by... I think they're going to get this, and it goes smashing into him. However... And I believe, yes, that's two UK fighters down now. The US with a big advantage here. Finding uh, Colin up on the north side of the list off screen um, and requiring another teammate's help to take down a UK fighter. They're all taking their time to really size things up as the uh, UK are unfortunately outnumbered. Well, this is very polished work here from the USA. You can see uh, Avalok trying to suggest that a strategy has changed by shifting weapon, changing together with the other uh, with the other Israeli. Well, that's a smart move. Take standing. yourself out, get him down as quickly as you can. We now look at Finland versus Italy one. This should be a very, very interesting match. The Italians very strong. Big match there earlier against Ukraine. They'll be looking now to take an advantage. But Finland comes straight in with a halberd there. And that you've got one of the Italian runners, a charge there uh, from Italy. Finish I think not engaging as much as maybe they should be doing, uh, but it might give them the advantage. Um, some fantastic there's some nice moves there, there like, however, from finish Finland. There's one finish fighter down. down. As we uh, can see, there's a few different points. There's still an open runner from the, uh, the Italian team. Some big and shots coming down on the finish fighter there. I think he's going to find that quite well. And he's taking that very smart fight in there from Italy. They're now pounding one of the finish fighters, and that is a victory for Italy. Some of the uh, vendors here to get the and the fight game. gets underway. An early charge from the right there from Australia. The, the Czechs taking their time, very cautiously approaching these Australians, having seen how fast they can move in the middle of the list. An early charge there from Australian, but as a counter charge comes straight back from the Czech Republic. Now, and there's one Australian fighter already down. We're going to a counter charge coming 
from the Australians. However, they've got it all to do now. Pochi, a lot of them getting tucked up in the side of the field. Great uh, repositioning here, I think, from Andy. Big uh, charge there, and I think the Czech fighter could have capitalised on that and gone for a leg sweep. However, he has not done it. The Australians now holding on to the list. It is a four to five fight here. Uh, Big Czech shots there coming come through from the Australians. Trying to loosen up that Czech fighter. He needs to get off that list. He needs to get his helmet free from that helmet. Big leg shots. I think this Australian is now in big trouble here. It's going to be very, very difficult. However, there's the big Australian trying to help out his teammate. Amazing teamwork there from the Australians. But at the same time, a few very heavy shots to the Australian's uh, head. You can see on the, him up. on the other side, there is a one versus one, which has just been split apart. And now there's some movement. Now this one's been taken down by the Czech Republic. And it's now a big advantage of four against two. This is not voting well for the Australians, but obviously the, the beast... Uh, well, you can see that big fighter there. He is not going down immediately. And I think the uh, the loose... Having some um, Croatian team members uh, coordinating between themselves. French look ready okay, to go. Okay, yeah. the start of the fight has been called now. French very, very uh, efficient in that first fight. However, they're backing the Croatians down to the corner. This is not smart tactics from Croatia. I don't know why they are just standing there waiting for the French while they've got to take the fight to them. It might be it might be an okay tactic if it leaves means the French feel overconfident. We'll see how this goes out. Got French experience. Fantastic. And there's a big takedown there already. That's two! Tripped over by his own teammate. He was pushed, however. Big charge there from the French. He goes straight into the knee, the side of the knee of that Croatian there. However, he is fighting back, he is holding off the big Frenchman, and now they're trying to sweep out the legs and he's down. And it is two now five two five. fighters left. Fantastic charge there, a kick to the legs, leaving him uh, unable to hold himself up properly. That's right, he's not able to react to this, he's got three of them he's hammering him down, and that is it. He, uh, he was unfortunately stuck with those hits. Uh, France uh, taking on Croatia, Croatia again waiting to uh, have them come to the corner. And not an advantage, uh, I do believe, for them as it didn't work last round. One Croatian down with a heavy hit from the Polacks, and this leads to a 4-5 to five hit. I see another see. Croatian taken down. They're dropping like flies, unfortunately. Uh, some nice uh, grappling work. The, the, the disadvantage, obviously, to uh, the Croatians in numbers. It looks like the fight is over now as a fight. Okay, as the you Ukrainians can see the V portion. formation has come out yeah. from the Ukrainians. And the Finns not quite sure what to do with that. However, there's some distance being kept by these halberdiers. And they're charging down a Finn, already one taken down. And that is the second gone down already. The Ukraine's now looking for a punch. Charging in the big shots there. Go against USA. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Very friendly before the fight starts. Wonderful engagement by the Mexican nuts. Mexicans get thrown there. And there's a big takedown right in the middle there. That big American is taking down all of these Mexicans. Slamming them down one, going straight outside the list. This is big work from America now. The fight is over to get. Russia won, buddy. <laughs> and we get underway with USA versus Mexico. The US is taking the fight to them. Some great moves there for the Mexicans. However, they've got to be careful. They're not trouncing over each other. Oh, there's some nice movement there. Bringing down one of the Mexicans. Great teamwork there from the USA. Indeed. Another, you've got some loose fighters going for a run there. There's some forward movement. A big takedown at the side of the list. You know, roll on anyone. A nice rush there coming from the Australians going straight into the side. Big blows there coming in. Some nice work from them. And they might get one of the Russians down. That's some big teamwork. Come on! One of the Russians has gone down. That's one of the Australians. The some Australians big fighting up, coming here from the Australians. This is seriously good work right now. However, the Russians are now taking control of it and it's been called. Ah, so close. So can the Australians now capitalise on that good start? Or the Russians have changed their tactics. That big Australian goes straight into the Russian there. And be careful. Russia's want to take that. However, the they've have gone straight into a wall there, and there's a lot of charges there uh, okay. from the Two Russians. Australians already down. However, you do have a loose runner here. He doesn't have the size advantage there against this Russian. That's already been called. See, this is the Russians' tactic. Take them down faster. Russian standing. They might call it that he actually was down, uh, but that leads. They, they, yeah, they called that he was down. But that might lead to a one-on-one -on -one fight. But it seems we to be now move on to Czech Republic versus Spain in the lower list. Fantastic grappling there in the centre, but um, that it's Spanish fighter. Uh, lots of aggression from this Spanish fighter. Look at this. Oh, nearly a hip toss there. Yeah. Really incredible work. They both go down, unfortunately, but it was very, very close. A nice run there from the Czech fighter, and that big fight in the middle there. Ah, that's a great knockout there. Straight out of the list. Unfortunately, that Spanish fighter should not have let that uh, that member uh, uh, go. He disengaged and then didn't choose to engage that Czech fighter. We now have that's two right. versus four here. Not uh, and there's well. another Spanish taken down. Oh, this Czech team. Very, very poor performance there. Definitely. Night Marsh, of course, the start of round two of Spain versus Czech Republic. One standing well back, but it's not ideal to be a runner if you've got a pole arm. They need to engage as quickly as possible. That Spanish runner at the bottom of your screen coming with full energy. A Spanish runner coming yeah, through. Big skirmish there. Two go down at the same time. Unfortunately, that's another Spanish fighter down. Tripping over his comrade's feet. Uh, now some big shots coming from that Czech Republic fighter. Massive shots coming down to the head of the Spaniard. But he's holding on well. He's not going anywhere, this one. 
is, but unfortunately it seems that's the case. And he's taken down there. It is now three against two. Big charge there from the Czech Republic. Spanish at the top of the screen doing a fantastic job. Um, obviously seeing... Um, oh, and that's why it's called the end of the round. Up at the top, a uh, little bit. And they're on We cut back here to the slow-mo replay of Spain versus Czech Republic. Um, this is the point where um, that, uh, the Czech fighter with the yellow and black helmet reposition himself and allows him to come over and take advantage of the back um, of, that, uh, of that fighter. A shield on their back, an interesting tactic. I'm not sure whether, you know, why there's uh, any rules about a shield on the back. No, it can be kept you know, as much as the hook fashion can be kept. And here we have it. There we have it. Some fast move there from the United States, charging against these Canadians. Rather than charging into them, Jackson placing their shots very carefully. Big shots coming in from the USA now. Lots of aggression coming through. Indeed, They're now working down this Canadian, there. working on taking him down. And it's going to be a big shot. Very, very close here. The Canadian holding on, but that is done. Brilliant job by the USA to stay standing there. Marshall very impressive. Marshall called it. That's a great victory there for the United States. Yeah, the Australians and the Germans, I'm sure that he knows. That was big stuff. We now join Poland versus France. This French team, this rapid movement from the French team. And the Poles are made to work for this. We've seen uh, strong fights from both in Big hacks coming down from the French. But the Pole holding strong, his feet doing well. Do you think that might be the uh, Polish captain? Uh, it may well be. You can see one Pole there getting another uh, weapon. I think the French not do. enough, and the French outnumbering them there. strongly. Outnumber, however, you can see that Prince Black Knight. Very impressive from him before. However, he's got two Frenchmen, one holding him, one pounding down on him. And, and there the other one's got three hard, Frenchmen smacking down on this pole. He's However, he's going to take one of the Frenchmen! He's making even the battle a little bit better. He's taking those hits hard and, and doing his absolute best to regain himself, but he needs to get back out there. Oh, it's uh, really smart fighting there, however, from the pole, managing to take down one of those Frenchmen. Now out now. We'll see the engagement start by French and the Polish the fighters up here. France winning the last round. Yeah. Poland seems to be evening out a little better here. Great energy from both teams there. However, that Polish facing off against that big Frenchman wielding the mace there. It's unfortunate for him. I believe he'd be better off uh, repositioning and running to try to disengage. One is Polish fight already down. Yep, that's right. And it looks like, yeah, we've Polish both and got French them down, fighter down at the same time. Him. Using a bit of a judo uh, leg toss there. French repositioning against this Polish fighter, but is he maybe getting a little uh, caught out, getting him boxed into well, the corner? Well, to be careful here. Again. Fantastic work by the Polish, but he couldn't capitalize on, the, oh, on that massive there. fighter. No, I think it was, it was just too big for him there. You can see that big Frenchman there taking down, but he needs to be very careful how he's holding the Polish fighter. That's an illegal hold. Mm -hmm. The marshals are quick to call that. They've called that. However, now the Black Knight there from Poland is still taking Poland some... Poland doing a fantastic job in oh, taking down amazing the take down. Evening, evening yeah, the, uh, the sides. Uh, this is going to be incredible. But those big French fighters... Oh, yeah, they've got the size advantage now, France. This is going to be very difficult for a Poland. You can see the size difference of them. Those fast Polish runners... That Polish fighter getting effect. pushed down to the ground. Needs to try to reposition himself, or at least hook himself on the list. He's Smart fighting there. there. Uh, and needs to be careful of going to the back of the head there of the pole. Definitely, it's and again, if he's holds onto his weapon at a cross. Oh, fantastic work by the Polish. Work for the not, Polish. Not out. He landed on the yeah, gate. I was uh, very, very lucky there. However, but now things have evened out. Uh, actually, more than even out, the advantage now goes yeah, to now the to Polish. Poland. It's right. That small uh, Polish fighter doing an amazing job. He was right to disengage. Uh, being, oh, needs to be brilliant. careful. That big, that big uh, French fighter is more than happy to push for him. Uh, yeah, him around. that's right. Of course, he can push the pole over his own teammate who has already been grounded. Knees coming in there strong against that small Polish fighter. The advantage now, obviously, still being to the uh, to big Poland. Shots there coming down. Getting a bit black tackled knight, uh, The Black Knight, obviously, wanting to weaken one of these fighters. If he can, fr yeah, very good shots to that larger, taller uh, yeah. in the corner. Um, those fantastic shots to the head, meaning that um, they're getting a bit dazed. Not able to make many decisions when you're yeah. hitting shots like that. He needs to be careful. He doesn't catch the gauntlet of his own team. Made, however. Indeed, but now the shot's going to the leg, hopefully, hoping to weaken uh, that Frenchman, um, but they're holding on nice and hard. Caught the gauntlet, but then clamoring that Frenchman very hard. The Frenchman seems to agree with him. That was a good shot. Those <laughs> shots to the leg are now hopefully going to be weakening him, alternating very strongly. Oh, a big trying fist to, there from the Frenchman. who's Trying to help out his teammate, but uh, not enough, unfortunately. It's getting tense here. That small friend, uh, that small Polish fighter should really try to disengage. Be careful of his own teammates. Yeah, he's going to go down oh, at this no. point. Oh, his, his, his legs are being very strong. Need to be careful of those. Uh, the marshal seems to be yeah. clearing out those uh, dead fighters. That's right. Yeah, that's a fair move. That's a fair call. Is How he allowed to continue? That is the question. They haven't told him he's out. Um, he gets to continue yeah, fighting. I think he was there. quite confused. There wasn't quite sure he what was happened. Very smart of him to check with the marshals and not yep. just re-engage. Yep. Maybe uh, the marshals didn't quite make it clear enough at the time. Unfortunately, he, he may have been confused that his um, as his rear uh, came close to the, uh, the down fighter. Oh, Ooh. looks like a Frenchman's holding on there. He might just have it. 
but here's where the marshals no, are telling him that he's now yep. out. So this is now the it. smallest fighter against the largest wow. fighter, the smallest Polish fighter against the largest. The only advantage that a small fighter, fighter will have now is if there's a lull in the action for more than 10 seconds, and oh. they have to split it up. And unfortunately, being pushed down. Oh, that's it. Yeah, okay. Wow, a hard fought victory. Yeah, Lowell is getting ready now. Um, Germany, uh, hopefully, able to use their, uh, their strong stance here. They're starting the engagement, top of the list, um, meeting that Czech fighter. Uh, punching the checks up in the corner, but not watching a his big back. Big start there, and he very nearly took a huge risk and suffered the consequences for that. Some great charges here from the Czech Republic. Seems like the Czech are speeding themselves up, realizing they have the advantage against the Germans in speed. Uh, you've nice got two of them down there. He needs to get off that German. He's a hacking down on the German fighter there. You can hear right from here. We can hear ricochets going throughout the whole arena. Yeah, that is really ringing Punches out. Punches really going through. I would be surprised if that German fighter wants to stay standing. And their round is over. Good job. Now we have the engagement between uh, uh, we'll Russia, Russia and against Czech the Czech Republic. Very, very fast. Two very, very strong teams. Oh, you've got that loose Czech fighter. He needs to choose his fighter very, very rapidly. Oh, he's going to find himself on the ground. The Russians are making short work of these Czech fighters now. Coming Charging in into the side. Big work there. He's holding onto this. He's not going to be able to hold it too much longer. Slamming down to the back of that Czech fighter. They're both down. That is a 5 0 victory there for Russia. Big. To help out the Marshall Montez team. The engagement starting. Russians pressing hard up one side of the flank. There's already one. Big shots into that Czech fighter. However, the Russian has not put himself in a great position there. Czech fighter gone down he in the Needs some assistance from his teammates. There's a, a big movement coming in from these Russians. Massive strikes coming, taking down the Czech Republic fighter. And uh, now it's business as usual for Russia 1, also known as Partizan 1. It's Russia 2. Uh, identifiable because they've got the, uh, the bear paw on their shields. However, the uh, Americans go straight and quite tentative in the center there. Being very careful. I think that uh, American holding back doesn't want to go too far. Runner's jittery, looking ready to... Runner's very, very jittery, moment. yeah. There's a, a fair skirmish going on in the side. However, I think they're going to make a mistake. They're just trying to catch the Russians off guard. However, the American vision of these Russians is far too good. Now, it's in full swing. There is a uh, Russian coming in for a charge. Very nearly takes him down. Unfortunately, the uh, situation being the... Oh, oh this is flying. a close fight. This is a really, really exciting fight now. Only one American the Americans have taken it to him. However, the Russian now has taken down that American fighter. Working on those legs, trying to get them down, putting all the weight on the Americans to uh, work for them. American Big moves, a, a lot of power well, coming from... Take that Russian. Maybe disengaging might be better, unfortunately. And that one goes down, that's it. Get that flanking advantage. The big Still man coming in there, hopefully pushing them into the corner. Some fast runners there by yep. the Americans. I but think the, uh, the American could take an advantage there. Big kick in, that is a Russian down. Disadvantage there for the uh, for the Russians. Oh, and that is a very close to the takedown. These Americans are holding it to the wire here. Very impressive now. The movement that of these Americans. He's disengaged. He can't stay there. Um, obviously, uh, he's choosing to try to uh, stop uh, some. Actually, he, we shouldn't leave his uh, his big friend there oh, and uh, the choose to engage uh, somewhere else. The now. runner needs to engage, but he's going to be chased down by these two big Russians here, who have so a size advantage. Um, After such an amazing start, these Americans now are under serious pressure. The adaptability from these Russians, uh, key. And that American fighter is down. Directly put together, uh, about put to together well. Just starting, the, the Ukrainians taking it to the French. The French incredibly fast fighters. Uh, one French fighter already down from a kick to the, uh, to the stomach. Straight, the second fast French fighter work here down. from the Ukrainians again. Uh, unfortunately for the French, it seems to be already over. And that's, yeah, that's what France versus Ukraine. Uh, and in uh, this two, back two, incredible, at this, exactly the same time we've got Ukraine okay. and France oh fighting in two separate lists. In the uh, top list you can see there's a bit of an even fight, they've ended up in skirmishes yeah. against the wall. The bottom list, uh, it's, uh, fast controlled Ukraine movement there. By Ukraine, there's some big blows coming down on these French fighters. The French needs to match them. Uh, we can now move Looking up at those wrestling the techniques which have paid off. Those in the top list there, uh, obviously this bottom list being... Um, uh, the poor soldier being bashed uh, by uh, two yeah, Ukrainians. Forced down into the list there, and that guy is out. And this leads to a call of that match uh, at the right. top match as well. Then we see the engagement uh, from the Ukrainians and uh, and the French in the bottom list. Uh, some fantastic short shots from the French, but not enough uh, to really daze the Ukrainians. There's some one-on-one -on -one skirmishes there. There's one much better, more, there's much smarter movement here. However, Second slammed French into down. the list there, the Frenchman. Uh, this is uh, uh, not so with it. that bar grill uh, face, yeah. uh, leaving to a lot of room uh, and a lot of breathing, but um, maybe less vision than some of the more clear uh, visors. Now the right engagement now gets starts. Underway. 
Uh, the Argentine is a little bit compact. There slams the Czech Republic flutter down. Fantastic in in initial attack. He's very annoyed that Czech fight on Yeah, you can see the frustration there. We, we have the uh, largest Argentinian and the largest uh, Czech. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, very close yeah. to a takedown there. The Czech, the Look at the movement by these Argentinians. They don't have the height advantage, but they are so fast. They're doing a fantastic job repositioning themselves. Um, I do think they need to disengage some of them. Yeah. Oh, the big fight are being taken down. Um, That's with right, yeah. A nice koala. But look at that big Argentinian there. And that man I have fought against, he has the uh, endurance to go for a long time. Right. He's way behind him. He, he's doing his best to grab onto that uh, yeah. that Czech fighter who is putting his weight onto the um, the Argentinian. That's a right. Patience. Uh, go, he might go for a trip fighter. here. I think he was wrong uh, to go for the push, so he should have yes. gone for a trip. A kick to the legs, or at yep. least a hit to the legs may have changed. Even clipping the, the ankle would have done it. I'm very surprised he went for that. Some big headbutts coming through. Got to be clear, not obviously to hit the Achilles tendon. That, of course. Uh, would be considered an uh, unsportsmanlike shot. Of course. Shot. The um, now tangled up there, that Argentinian, but they do have the advantage in the numbers. A surprising turnaround. Yeah. To be honest, the Argentinian's not considered one of the um, uh, top teams like the Czech, but nonetheless doing the absolute best. Finishing off with those big elbows, elbows on the back coming of the down head the, of the Czech, Czech fighter who thus far have no response to this attack by the Argentinians. Hopefully that big Czech fighter will reposition against the, uh, sorry, the big Argentinian will reposition against the small Desperate Czech to fighter. get that Argentinian down on the ground, who is holding on for dear life. Very, very impressive. The so the Argentinian needs to make some rapid charges. I would even consider changing weapon at that point because the Argentinian below him is not giving up. And it looks like both of them have gone down there. Yes, this so looks like a one-on-one -on -one fight, it seems. And I'm not sure <laughs> how much help that's going to do him. The other Argentinian really should be um, taking the opportunity to try to position himself favor, uh, on the other side of a, of a fighter with his check fight in between. Yep. Do not get hooked up on that fence there. No. Unfortunately, he has. He's decided to uh, try to hold on to that uh, and trying to throw, but it's yeah, going to be badly placed. the check fighter is just putting all his weight on the Argentinian now. He's got on a few shots to the leg. If he keeps going, he might yep. actually weaken the leg. Kneeing to the knee, not enough. Is this oh, going to be charging it? Charging right through there. Ah, Big advantage for the Czech fighter. The Argentinian still holding on uh, yep. firmly, though. He needs to get his sword active. He's just he's holding on and not focusing on oh, his secondary he's dangerously tactic. dangerously putting weight on that leg, though. I think this is going to be over fairly quickly. <sighs> no, I do believe that Argentinian has got a lot to hold on to. He needs to reposition himself. He needs no, to think He's almost off the list there. And then he's down. Oh, and very close the there. The Czech Republic there. And now we go into the Czech Republic 1, in fact. Uh, that Russian uh, obviously getting a bit tangled up there. The Ukrainian being very smart to move his leg out of the yep. way, but maybe a bit too light footed. It, it led to him uh, losing his ground. Uh, we've got some very fast movement from the Argentinians here. Very, very athletic. That Argentinian really should just grab that large uh, Czech fighter and take him down. Yeah. Um, you can see uh, some great hooks there. He's got to be careful that he doesn't uh, hold this, the fast one weapon, way. Yes. He seems like he might be grabbing his own weapon, that check fighter. Yeah, Hopefully I the think marshals he is. keep an eye. The marshals need to see that. You can see all the concentrations in the corner, but they need to look at what was going on there. Weapons are free now. The yep. check fighter taking him out. And that's a victory for, well, it will be a victory for the Czech Republic. Ooh. Smashing down. That. Now uh, get underway An against the start. Czech Republic. The, I think the Americans taking a bit of back. Uh, they're not quite sure how to... Uh, adjust. No one's engaged yet. A bit of tentativeness in the La centre um, Still South using flight. these uh, runners. The Czechs won't want to lose La that Republic Republic fighter again. No, Slightly unclear movement from the Czech Republic. It's a little bit of moving round the Americans there. Americans getting a bit, uh, bit taken no uh, by surprise from every age. Nice blows. Oh, those big shots coming in for that big American. Who I believe is David Dixon. The American actually, unfortunately, planting a few shots into his own teammate. But nonetheless, going to shut him down. This is... Pulling opposite clinical ways, work out. Very, very close fight here. I believe he should probably try and disengage that American fighter holding yep. onto the back of him. To try and disengage because uh, he doesn't have what is the size advantage here. Um, and so he's just biding his time now. He's Check opened up, up a runner there, but I think he's going to regret that. It's not going to be as effective as he'd want. And that's oh. it. Very, very big shots there from American. But he's very close still standing hard. Yep. And now he's uh, now he's hooked around the helmet. Maybe he'll yep. move there. Uh, the... Uh, the Marshals don't seem to be calling it, so it seems to be all fair. His weapon is immobilized there, being the wedged between them. The, um, the uh, Uno Czech fighters over in the distance. We have uh, one of the larger Czech fighters against one of the fancy-dressed, um, um, or well-dressed, I should say, American fighter. 
Not much happening there, but they'll, they'll wait that out. This is where it gets uh, very, very tense, and they start, the energy starts to drain. There was a check fighter, unfortunately, I think, had collected. Oh, fantastic oh take big down. take down there from the USA. Excellent work. That check fighter was the one who was holding the um, edge of his uh, axe, or, or at least it was yep. fought on the shield. Marshall's making sure they cleared it out. He's been effectively taken down, and now it is USA in control of this match, and there's 3-1, and it will be called the uh, USA team. Start against in a very, very rapid fight uh, against the Moldovans. The That's really impressive at the and top. One and two. Obviously, Americans trying to meet them. Uh, the big Czech fighter being taken and held on to. Oh, that's a big takedown there from the man. That's Takes two of them down. No, no, unfortunately, this place is the, um, the uh, American team at a disadvantage. Oh, he's going for the multi kill, though. Taking some Striking down on that American. How much more of that punishment can he take? Well, he's he's going to smash that pole arm if he continues like this. Unfortunately, not enough uh, for that American to do anything. Yeah. But hooking uh, weapons now means that there's nothing we can really do. The American choosing to just take the beating, I don't think there's much that he can do. Um, we are two check over there on an American on the other side of the field. Yeah. The large check, um, con considering... Oh, well, no check has thrown the American fighter out there, and that has stopped it. He teased them into anything. Fantastically strong punches at the south of the field. The you Czechs. Can see the Czechs slightly blocking each other there, but some yeah. big strikes coming down from these Americans. We can see the um, this tussle happening here. The uh, American being very smart to not get caught, yeah. trying their best to twist and throw, but not not happening uh, here. And once again, a big charge there into the Czech fighter. He's going to take advantage of the grounded fighter, and it's his own teammate. But the Czech fighter manages to hold on. Very contentious there. Um, the Czechs now do have the advantage. Yep. One of the Americans at the top of the field being told to take a knee. Not sure, quite sure how that happened. So now the um, the Czechs outnumbering the Americans. We'll see whether or not one of these Americans can reposition himself. I would think that um, the current s skirmish we're seeing will last uh, a bit of while. They're they're That's going to go on for a bit. Yet. It's gone right to the corner there. Therefore, both fighters have more to hold on to. You can see him trying to strike down, but uh, one weapon is locked. The other, the axe is... Uh, being gripped onto as well as the list. He's now a three to two fight as one of the Americans did take down a Czech. Right. Um, so, but it's now unfortunately having I mean, two, uh, these two fighters in the center. One Czech repositioning himself, maybe not advisable, as I think that might actually be Austin, Austin going down uh, with right. the other Czech fighter, leaving to a two, two, uh, one fight. This yep. American has to find something in him to uh, to draw this out. A nice solid kick see. to the gut there. Yeah, that's very impressive. But you can see these, uh, this Czech fighter is exhausted, not connecting with these blows. And all his energy, great movement there for the American fighter, who's going to try to capitalize on this, trying to take both of them out. He needs to make sure one fighter stays in front of the other so that he's aware. Yep. Behind him, behind him. Oh, Ooh. very, very close there. That was extremely dangerous play by the American. He backed up far too much. Now that the Czech fighter is getting went tired. down. Ooh. And he's still wedged between those fighters there. That is going to be somebody's undoing. And it is! Oh, Very smart work there from the USA! But he needs to be careful because now he needs to regain his energy here. Oh, he the other spent a lot of energy doing that. Well. This is going to come to... I think the Americans got it. It's in control. It's going to take him down. Very oh, oh, It's a double takedown. Oh, this is where I... It, it's something that I would... Oh, no, the fight now starts between the Argentinians and the Americans. I believe right. they're spreading themselves out further again to make sure they don't get wrapped. Bit weak on the, the, uh, uh, the Americans flight. rushing forward with the pole on there. That might not be Fantastic the Fantastic work idea. by the uh, American running through the center of the field. Again, we can see a big takedown there coming uh, from the Argentinian. Now However, he's gone out four. himself. Now a tentative charge there from uh, the Americans. Some smart work, however, and have not let... Well, now he has gripped onto this. Good movement, however, and this big Argentinian is not going to take this easily. However, he is down. And that is a round over as they do outnumber them. The yep. two runners doing a fantastic job, but not enough to Danes, uh, down the Danes. And then as we speak, uh, China and France get started. I think the Chinese are working on that tactic of finding the loose runner. However, it's not worked in their favour. They've, they've been standing around, they were caught out. However, then you've got another Chinaman who goes straight into the French. Big fight in there, very, very aggressive from this Chinese fighter. But he has been taken down. It looks like we have a three versus two here. Yeah. Massive Chinese fighters. Yeah. That's um, right. The, the French fighter coming in. Uh, oh, that's a big blow there against the huge Chinese fighter. You can see, this Chinese fighter needs to be fast enough see, to do yeah. something about that. He's not using his weapon effectively enough. He needs to start using his body. He needs to start wrestling the French. He does have a height advantage there. It is the now big kicks uh, five versus through. two here, unfortunately. Shots yep. seem ineffective against yeah, that big fighter. Yeah, barely even touching. Just bounced off him. But the big fighter needs to do something. He, That's the shots right. 
not doing much. He needs to start using uh, core movement with that pole yep. arm to start throwing these fighters down. Uh, even just dropping. However, they hands. say that he, this, these big Chinese fighters are withstanding all of the. Well made Chinese armor. Yeah. He's dropped his weapon, so he needs to go and get another weapon. Yes, he does. Oh, he's been taken and down. And that's called. That was a clear shot to the back of the head. Uh, yeah, enough to daze him as you can see. It's a uh, fast start for the Czech Republic. The Russia. Big running there. And they've actually caught one of the Russians heading back. They crunch an ever and put it down. to nothing. Second check, third check, fourth check already down. Yeah, and that Ukraine gets straight into this uh, Danish team. Quick advance. Uh, so can't get the takedown there, however, there's one Danish fighter who's already gone down. Some great movement here from the Danish team, counter-attacking against these uh, Russians. The big box there, two of them go down at the same time, a double takedown. These Ukrainians are doing a fantastic job hacking, um, but unfortunately uh, for the Danes... It okay, and we move down to Russia against Argentina. A big takedown there. Russian slams into the Argentinian. Very sharp work. Unfortunately for the Argentinians, they have performed well in some fights, but unfortunately not enough uh, in this one. Second round against Russia. Argentina, the Russians are going straight into it with an early charge. I think they're trying to box them in once again, as the Americans did. Too much pause in the center. Oh, big takedown there. And it's massive shots coming in from the Russians against these Argentinians. And they're taking all of these blows. Great aggression shown there. Oh, and that's down for the Argentinian, leaving to a five versus two fight. I would like to say that they have... Oh. Big shots there. Doesn't quite connect it, but that would have hurt. And it's called. And he does training yeah, sessions also. The fight now yeah. begins between China and Ukraine. Ukraine pressing hard, oh, but China meeting there. them. Uh, strong fight here, not able to find his feet. Oh, the, uh, Ukraine is lucky to get away with One it. One Chinese it's fighter down already. Skill. Uh, second Chinese fighter, set third Chinese right. fighter, fourth, and that is and done. And that's towards each other on the sides Second this time. Round, once Russia again, quite a tentative start to this. You can see that uh, quite a dangerous point on the Los axe Spaniels of the Belarusian team. So having yet a short burst comes from the Spanish team. There's a take down there. However, the Belarusian fighters managed to stay up, and it all bunches Jan up in the Caido. corner of the list now. Two runners coming Spaniels. forward towards the Spanish team for Belarus. Trying to break away the Spanish fighters, lunging in there, one fighter with his axe. Uh, and that's a great rip. takedown there. Fantastic Remarkable work down. from the Belarusian Halberdier against a, a big Spaniard, three of them trying to work down that Spanish fighter. And unfortunately, five to two here. The Spanish have gotten free, but he needs to do something. He oh, needs it's to get one be of them very down difficult. quickly. Yeah, for the Spanish are not the far kind of fighters. Great kick Dos to the head there from the Belarusian cinco. fighter. And you can see a forced into the corner out there, moving these Spanish fighters round. But uh, not enough attention going on to that big Spanish fighter. Well, I think might even take one of the Spanish fighters. I think mean, they'll be the favourites to win this fight. However, they did not look so steady in the, uh, the last fight they had. But still very experienced fighters nonetheless. We can see the uh, movement of the Finns. Uh, mm, rapid as it was, I think. Uh, the Finnish runner's not doing as much as effective as I think he would like. Very no. fast, but not not uh, not getting any results. Quite evenly matched at the moment, the however. Moment, so. Nice breakups between no the two runners in the center of the field to currently really decide what to do. Yep. Uh, no, some no fantastic down yet. Oh, we now got equal there. fighters still, four versus four. The runner now getting tangled up. I think he's best to disengage again. That yellow and uh, blue shield you see there. Um, but the uh, the unfortunate thing being that uh, if he uh, if he stays there, he'll stop a fighter. If he disengages, he may lose someone. And that's again. two down again, three <laughs> down again. This may have to go to a replay if it continues. In terms of the Belarusian, this is now turned into one versus one, and right. the fast finish They've fighter finding free. Every single fighter down except for these two runners who've been spending the majority of their time in the middle of the field. The finish really needs to watch his footing. Oh, he's got to get close. He's got to... Uh, and that's a great oh, take down there by the Belarusian. Throw. Unfortunately, um, he was caught off guard. Now we come down to the Belarusian and Finnish fight. Let's see if uh, we can have a oh, bit more Already the Belarusian has lost his weapon. The Finnish will want to take advantage of that. Unfortunately, no, no chance as that backup uh, was available there uh, from the Belarusian. Quick, yeah. Very swift movement, very smart movement from the Belarusian. Seems to be a very even yeah. fight. Uh, I think Finnish have stepped up the game from the last year or two. One Finnish fighter gone down, meaning the advantage in numbers goes to oh, Belarus. Right, yeah. This uh, this fighter might just have to take a bit of a bashing while the rest of the field uh, deals with it. Uh, finish well, fight. Oh, that's down. a great takedown there by the Belarusian. Now the numbers are in their favor. I feel that I the, now yep, that the fight that is will be called. Stopped, that is yep. it. 
A fantastic work by the bank of those uh, Belarusians. Positioning themselves well, a bit tentative off to the side, but yeah. one Belarusian chooses to charge through, uh, leaving, uh, leaving him, the one, uh, one Dutch down, yeah. trying to reassess the, uh, the situation. Um, and a Belarusian tripped in the center of the field. Another Belarusian put down in the corner, leading to uh, the fight being over very quickly. I feel it's begun uh, very fast. The, uh, nice movement there. However, they are thrown back by the experienced Poles. Yeah. And there's one big takedown. They already have two takedowns in the middle there. Swift work from Poland. And getting uh, backed up in the corner yeah. here. If they don't grab onto the list, they may find themselves at a distinct disadvantage. Yep. Uh, and that's that another to taken down. And but how they dealt with uh, the heat in all this is how we move now to the first round of Spain versus Denmark. The Spanish really testing the grounds there, but not actually engaging. The uh, Dane trying to See, cross over, unfortunately getting caught. A nice movement. The runners are working very well. There's a Spaniard who's taken down already. A fast run there from uh, the Spaniard who goes crashing into the Dane. Can't take it down against Dan himself. It's unfortunate when, they, uh, when you meet the wall and you can't hold up. The Danes being very smart here. They do have the advantage. Maybe a Spaniard could pull out a, uh, an attack or two. Uh, bringing down one of the Danes. Unfortunately, another Spaniard down. Yeah, and the Danes firmly in control of this fight at the moment. However, no sign of letting up from the Spanish here. He's taking quite a beating, that uh, large Spanish man. That's right, and I believe that's the captain of the Spanish team, Christian Bernal. This is uh, this Spanish fighter has been doing a fantastic job at uh, yeah. lashing out every single engagement he gets involved into. But unfortunately, he's stuck against the ropes now. Yeah. This two-handed uh, Dane coming down with all the uh, all the might of all the Danish. But this oh. <laughs> solid hits to make them question why they're here. <laughs> well, that's a good victory there. Four. You can slice it. You can slice it. Uh, the, oh, it's a big start there. I can see that can uh, see that Spaniard attacking, but unfortunately getting pinned against the wall. Not much happening there. The Danish trying to flip him over. You can see the grappling happening. Force to start, however, there. You can see Definitely. the Danes not exactly sure where to start their attack. The Spanish need to really run heavy. Yeah, they're going to need to burst any time soon. Oh, nearly yeah. taking one down in the corner. The uh, Spaniards cannot be standing still. And there is a run coming from one of the Spaniards there. It goes flying into the list there and you can see now the Dane up. pulling all his weight down to get that Spaniard off the list. Oh, and, he the and he goes down, down himself! Dane. The Something plan didn't work! And now we have the advantage to the Spaniards. It seems there has been someone down in the corner, uh, a Spaniard himself, now it's equaling out. Uh, and it's still four versus four and the Spaniard now is going to need to find his opponent very, very quickly to take advantage of the situation. It seems that now see, the Danes the do have the advantage they, they have here in numbers. Advantage. They are absolutely right. I believe it was maybe quite difficult if there can be a takedown there, that one versus one skirmish which is happening on the side there, but that looked tightly locked. That Spanish fighter needs to do something quick and and uh, make sure that they finish this fight so that he can go over and help his teammate, uh, who has unfortunately been pushed down yeah, and unfortunately right. been taken out. That means it is now three to one. Advanced yeah. fast, and the second it kicks off, uh, it will it will end very quickly. The French been uncharacteristically cautious for the start of this match. Of course, they don't want to give anything away. The finish have been surprising though, so uh, yeah. Yeah. a and move from the bird will obviously going cross back to the back finish French to the French here. And there's a lot of fast movement between these two teams. We have uh, one member down from each team, so it could be anybody's game. No. Fairly evenly matched from where I'm sitting. Uh, some nice movement breaking away from the list there, the Definitely. French team. But uh, but the uh, Finnish uh, team member matching him, not letting him uh, help out his teammate at any point in time. Yep, that's right. Engaging, pushing him up against the wall, not my, may not be the uh, best aspect. Quite an athletic team. This, uh, for him. Definitely, they've been tra practicing hard, I know, that, uh, yep. in comparison to last Oh, and you can see another French fighter has gone down there. This might be, uh, this might be working in the favor of the Finnish team, a surprising victory, I would think. Oh, they're working hard to get this French team down. This would be a huge victory for Finland. However, there's a lot to do until then. In, on the other side of the list, you can see the large Finnish fighter occupying yep. uh, the remaining French fighter. This means that we, uh, we're stuck with a uh, two versus one. And uh, this, oh, and oh that French fighter is down there. This means we have four against two. It's pretty much in the bag for the finish, but we won't want to give it to them too quickly. No, I wouldn't say it too early. You can see that uh, that big finish fighter is starting to tire now. And he's going to need to get that French fighter away from the list there. He cannot keep him pressed in. However, these two Finnish fighters appear to be making more progress. They need to start swooping his leg. Now all three of them are going to try and get it out. They might as well just go down with him. 
to take okay. one out at least. He might be doing that. He's swinging him into the list. That. He's taking not, him back. It wasn't that the smartest move to be swinging him into the list, though. Right He's now got an arm wrapped around. Vulnerable. He'll keep hacking at the uh, back Big of the leg. Big strikes legs. coming at the, to the Frenchman there, who is not able to resist the force of these blows coming down from the finish fighter. He definitely wants to defend himself and there. I don't think he'll be able to take much more of this. Then he can pull him away up. from the list. A strong fighter here, standing back up, doing yeah. his best to defend himself against the uh, oncoming blows. Both of the Frenchmen holding on for dear life, uh, just receiving as many shots as possible. Maybe better to concede this so that they have energy for their next round, as they are such an even match. Yeah. But uh, it's every fighter's hope to turn a match around. Well, this is right. This is gonna <laughs> Clamoring shots down onto the head. Don't seem to be doing much, that uh, Frenchman. And that Frenchman uh, in the uh, upper corner getting hammered by that axe wielder. Well, that's pretty impressive stuff from the French here. Heavily outnumbered, yet still not moving. I think they've got to start working on his legs now. I think this is actually a technical error on the part of the Finns. They are not going for the legs. They're going for these head chops, but they're coming to nothing. They're just being absorbed think, by the helms. I think in this situation with the large finish fighter, they need to actually get him away uh, from that yeah. corner. Because yeah, yeah. like him leaning against him, it means that nothing's going to happen. But nothing's maybe, happen. maybe the French was nodding him. And, and that is it, he's down. From last year. Absolutely, yeah. This is, uh, this is a big result for them already. Strong, Taking. large finish fighter. Uh, taking his time, not engaging just yet. Uh, up at the north, you've got a jumpy finish fighter waiting for the opportune moment to strike. That's right, yeah. You can see them still holding back slightly. Those runners are going to burst at any moment, but they don't want to run too quickly because they might kid themselves. I think they should try to penetrate the lines as both of the teams should. Definitely keep your eye on the finish fighter with yep. the yellow and blue shield. He's been doing fantastically. Yep. Uh, so he's going to look for that opportunity to get in there and, and try and Very close to a takedown now. The French are managing to stay up some... Rushes going through oh, two, two down in the center of the field, and it's still a very, very aggressive fight. All in all, this nearly, that nearly having that uh, finish fight to go down on the tabard of the Frenchman. And there is uh, another Frenchman down there. Now the uh, the Finnish have the advantage here. They do, yes, that's right. And uh, two of them have gone down, which is now two, two against two one versus one. This, the French uh, are down to their last fighter. This French fighter doing fantastically uh, to take yeah. the bashing before, but he did I think go down he might earlier. Go down. I think the, a good idea would be the, that extra Finnish fighter needs to be very careful. He doesn't go with him because he might get taken down by that French fighter. If but they need to put all the weight on that fighter. Great! But so into line seven, they, Italy 1 versus Russia 1. Let's see how this can go. Will the Italians be able to keep this going against the force of the Russians? The runners are already loose. If they choose the man carefully, they might put it to him. Very, very exciting fight out. All five One Italian already three. down, unfortunately. One down. And a now second Italian already second. down. One now the Russians with the numbers, and, and they've taken it out, and it's come to a close. <laughs> unfortunately, not fast enough, those marshals in, entirely on one fighter um, to try to take them down and get that advantage. Center of the field not really doing much. Um, the runners waiting for the opportune moment, but they yeah. need to strike before Russia gets yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, they need to communication going on between those uh, Russian fighters and there's some big blows coming for the Italians but some nice aggression shown by the Italian team a lot of those one Italian already, already down. Already. Oh, both and they're giving absolutely everything they've got now this Italians but they are heavily outnumbered by these aggressive Russians the, the strikes coming from these Russians is incredible oh, they are you very can smart feel Italians them from though. here some great moves there from the Italians just getting away from that big Russian there however it has come to a close the gap to the finals with the five versus five all teams Canada progressing. Now so France really stepping it up easier. against, uh, against Canada. Oh, oh that's a big take down. down there. Some great movement here from the French. And look how fast they are going, taking advantage oh. and smashing Canada down on that Canadian there. But the Frenchman fell down as well, uh, rolling over backwards. Yep. And it's uh, it's going to be a tight one. It seems that there's been some heavy hits coming in there from the uh, from the Frenchman. This corner as we're watching now, but it's nice and uh, it's nice and messy. Yeah, it's got that, oh, he tries to move again. This time it does not work. I think he got cocky with it. Yeah, a bit too low on the squats and slipped his uh, footing. Yeah. This he tried the move again we saw. This is a three to two um, fight with the uh, French with the advantage. This yeah. Dane getting, uh, sorry, this uh, Canadian Aquí getting back in the corner. Oh, very, very impressive from France here. Great aggression from this team. They are so well. But look at the athleticism charging into him with a flying kick. Definitely. It looks like the Polish have won the, uh, the bout up above. Canada moving hard for this group. And unfortunately, down uh, now a two versus one. The Canadian doing his best, but now being pushed against all of the French down bodies. Now managing to pile up the bodies. Sorry, yes. 
France versus Con Canada. And the speed has suddenly come to stop. It all comes entre to Canada, punching Canada against the list. Hopefully, uh, one vivo. of the Canadians can disengage. We si see no, that, that Canadian uh, a bit more free, este landing some fantastic uh, shield punches, but I don't feel Canada. the fight is warranted there. Vamos maybe he's trying to free his other rido. Canadian friend. He has done so, allowing him to uh, have his head free. But unfortunately, one of the Canadians has gone down. You can see how they're trying to trap each other's feet and go for a leg sweep. This is the, the fighters in the distance there. Uh, obviously, a big Canadian fighter uh, taking his time. Now, it is unfortunately a uh, disadvantage to the Canadians in terms of teams. Uh, we see a Canadian uh, coach trying to get in there close, being asked to move back to his side. Oh, that's right. Well, I think they're going to feel the pressure a bit more on these lists for the time being. Okay. Uh, you can really see the difference between the five versus five and three on versus three one with the French team. The French team member nearly going down. Oh, both of them both down, down, meaning that we now have a three to two setup. Uh, unfortunately, that Canadian doing a fantastic move, but not knowing when to let go or how hard to hold on to that list. Uh, it's a big guy. They're gonna, they've got the work cut out here. Ah, could it still be anybody's game? Uh, as we see on the other side of the list, there is, um, uh, they were separated and now we have yeah, a right. Canadian and French fighter. If that Canadian can reposition himself or use a body on the ground, he no, has he's gone for push, he's gone charging into that Canadian there. This may mean that the uh, Canadian on the, on the closest side of the field, the ones we're watching right now, he might actually have a slight advantage now that he has only one on one. If he, oh, nice no, and corrected with that kick there. to the arse. Seems that there is uh, maybe an issue with the armor by the, uh, the strong, uh, the uh, sorry, oh, stocky uh, Canadian at yeah, the top of the like field. They're both being held. I'm not sure if he's going to be grounded. He has been grounded. In the meantime, the other Louis French has got it, and it should be stopped because it's 3 1, and there it is. It's very unfair now taking on uh, and Great Britain. That is uh, UK 2 there. Well, there's quite distinct Eastern armor setups. See that every, after every shot, that UK fighter. Ooh, especially aware of his surroundings. Oh, great sure. take down there in the middle of the list. The UK now with the advantage. Hacking down on that Czech fighter. I think they'll take it down. It is. Big advantage there now. We see a Czech and, and it is coming in from the Great Britain fighter. Flaws. Here we go uh, now looking to even out the numbers here. However, it is the UK who are taking some punishment from that big Czech fighter. And they do unfortunately do not have the numbers. So and that has been called to Ukraine, Ukraine versus the Czech Republic. Now, I was right, Czech. there was a, an early rush from the Ukrainians. However, the Czech fighters waited for them to come out and it is all uh, even here. Boots and Hiptos is a, a charge by a Ukrainian, but not enough to take down the Czech fighter. They now have the new American advantage now, however. But do have enemies behind him. And I believe they're going to use and the body. has been taken down. This is leading to a four versus uh, two with the disadvantage to the Czech Republics, but yeah. that, that large Czech fighter taking a beating, nothing really taking him down yet. He needs to do something though, yeah. because he's, uh, his teammate in the other opposing corner. Like it's his, like he's uh, barely holding on to the list there as if he wants to make some move, and there he goes. But will it be he enough? Goes straight into the Ukrainians there. Check. Yeah, so the Ukrainians being very good at their hip tosses, but this is a, a behemoth of a person to be tossing over your hip. Yes, exactly. But as I said, the teammate called, in the opposite three, corner two, one. went and Great Britain. That's very with tense. It, this uh, being at least three, four Great Britain fighters standing. Uh, actually, it seems to be that no one has been down uh, quite yet. And we oh, see those two fighters down, together. down there. That's big. Now it'll be interesting to see who, see uh, the who will there. create the balance here. There are a number of locked weapons, so then that's going to work very badly against the UK. If, he, uh, if he's smart enough, uh, now unfortunately he's getting tangled up there, um, going oh, down with both of them. To go down to. It looks to be, it might be a slight advantage of the uh, of the UK team though. Um, as it, it is. seems right. to be two UK. Uh, oh yeah, that's oh. right, you're right, there's a nice takedown there. I think they might have injured that uh, Czech fighter. And that's a big victory fast. there for the UK. Ian and Czech fight happening in the lower half of your screen. And you can see a double take down. Two of them gone down at the same time. Another one. Uh, now we have three to three. Great uh, some incredible uh, action from the Czech fighter, but the two-handed uh, two Czech fighter off the screen, uh, sorry, the two-handed Ukrainian fighter, landing blows at the hard. Uh, that, that man you can see now, incredible strength behind each swing. Um, and that Czech fighter looking to obviously try and meet him and being tripped, meaning that there's now a 3-2-1 fight this um, uh, uh, we look now off. at USA versus Italy. You can see the Italian captain there flying uh, into his opponents. A uh, big run there from that uh, USA fighter. You can see the speed of all of these. Well, it's best to hold on to the edge of the list. Now coming across, coming down to this Canadian team. Obviously, it's, uh, they're coping quite well. There's a, 
A Canadian team member stuck in the middle of the field. He now moves to the edge of the list to try to get some support. Uh, the French working hard to take his legs out and, uh, as he's doing to the American team and back to the Canadian team. They're holding on for dear life. Uh, he might unfortunately get pushed out of the arena, oh, and that is nice it. Move there for that the is a French. win to the French. Oh, he's Hopefully, we'll switch straight back to Italy, USA. Right now comes down to UK1, White Company. Denmark uh, pressing hard against that, nearly taking down the UK fighter. This might be Did over pretty quickly. The, uh, oh, oh not sure great strike there from Denmark. Denmark, amazing work. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the runner's getting a bit distracted, not doing uh, yep. fantastic work from the uh, UK yes, runner. That was quite a up. fatal error there, and now they I find themselves in big trouble. Tangled up, unfortunately. We have one UK runner trying his best to separate, but runs straight into the edge of a list yep. with... Uh, with the oh, and that is a big take down there for the UK. The numbers are even. That was even out. Awesome. This is incredible fighting. The cream of their crop taking each other on. Now uh, numbers being even. Uh, you can see the reassessment from that Danish fighter as to who he would, wants to uh, take on. Following the runner across the field, maybe not a smart decision. Um, that runner may be distracting a little. Yeah. Now they're going to have to slug it out at the list. I, don't I think, think that they're going to be too many bursts. But the UK have taken down another Dane. This, this is incredible, it's now four, four against three. three. I think they're going to try and wear down the Danes here, get them off the list. However you see that, the UK fighter in the middle there, slightly weary looking to go, so you can see he's gone to assist. I think that was a badly placed shot. He should be striking the back of the legs or at least yep, the uh, Definitely. Well, now he's trying to kick away. This is good. There this could be some good teamwork Oh, here. he took a knee. And Clearly. he's gone down to the knee. This is great news for UK. Yes, now they have a 4-2-2 fight. <laughs> if the Danes come through... Oh, oh stunning work there. He cut to the combat with the Italians and the Americans here. Again, a very fast fight. You can see the Italians there, half the size of that big American in the middle there. They can't just run into him like that. However, the Americans have charged an Antonio. Bit of a tussle there own. in the middle of the field. One trying to toss the other. One uh, surely will go well, down. I think both of these people will go down if they're not careful. Off the screen, we've seen a double takedown and uh, is going to lead to, I think, an American advantage here. Oh, I think so, yeah. You've got a two against one hit in the middle of the list. It's going to be very hard. Four. That Italian yes. holding on for dear life. Oh, but taken down while the other there. ones were standing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We can, to now UK versus Denmark. The UK looking to complete what they started. The Danish, however, fighting back. Yeah, this is going straight to the list, and you can see the Danes hacking down on the UK fighters there. They've really got their work cut out this time. The Danish punishing the UK fighters there. There's a cross, need to be careful about crossing his, uh, how he's crossed his weapon across uh, the UK fighter. No one down yet, uh, but stuck in the corner a few different places. Almost a takedown for that uh, yep. UK fighter, but they're holding strong. Yep. It'll be interesting to see who gets first blood in this round. Uh, that poor UK fighter taking a beating. He's quite ineffectually uh, having his uh, leg armor smashed there, but it's, uh, it's going nowhere. And I think as you can see all the weight coming down, look. How Danish. much he is stretching. Indeed, the Danish fighter repositioning himself. But oh, this is effectively uh, double, a double take down there. there. Four Danish versus four still. Flying at the, over the list. You can see some advice trying to come from the Danes to yep. their teammates. This, uh, this tackle, his head getting a bit twisted in there. Yeah, I you think. You have to uh, try and hold on without any vision or any breathing. Oh, the, the Danish really are stepping up the pain factor in this fight. The it UK still could be all against anyone's them. game, though. The. Uh, the Danish nearly being taken down just slightly off screen. Great skill hacks there with the Falchon. Obviously, this Danish fighter now getting a tussle had repositioned himself here. They're just trying to gather themselves. Yep. There's been a, a pause in the break, and the Marshal should be breaking that up. Yep, I think that's been more than 10 seconds there. They should be split up and sent to the middle of this. Oh, very unlucky there. It's not the UK fighter who tripped on the fighter here down. So now we have, again, three versus three. Seems like they're going down a double. Still an even fight. Could be anyone. Oh, some fantastic very work in the corner there. This is a stunning fight here. Seems like uh, we're noticing the, the uh, Danish member putting all his weight on that UK yeah. fighter and him still standing up against it. Well, they're really coming down it. on these UK fighters here who, however, are holding on. Trying to get loose of that lock there. That uh, UK fighter uh, on the opposite side of the list and not on the screen right now, obviously holding on for dear life. Uh, hoping to just maybe uh, win out in patience. Uh, yeah, that's it, the Danish, Danish fighter is definitely still getting some kicks through. This corner here is the really tricky one, though. Obviously, you do not want to move away from that corner, either yeah, fighter. Taking the energy, and it looks like the helmet might come off that UK fighter. Very, very dangerous situation there. I think it seems to be strapped on tight enough, just exposing a little bit of the neck. A fantastic shot. Might have been to the groin there. Uh, need to be careful of that. The UK fighter holding on. Yeah, uh, he's now at a, a 
That's a 90 degree angle there. It's unfortunately not on the screen, but the UK fighter helping his teammate out. Here we have ooh, quite a tricky situation for that uh, UK fighter again for this. Uh, at the meantime, obviously there is a, the final competition between the um, uh, Italian and the US team. Which is also coming topless. down to the wire. The fans absolutely glued to that one. And I believe it was an Italian win yeah, as like the US did drop. Through. However, concentrating once again on the UK versus Denmark. UK losing a bit of the energy in their strikes, but oh, I don't think uh, any of them can really uh, figure strikes out. Still coming down from the Danes. Seems like uh, no sign of letting up with these strikes. Ooh, legs nearly taken out there. I think um, he's putting this energy clearly on that uh, Dane, but the Danes. Oh, oh, and the Dane goes down. Oh, giving an advantage great to the there. Great Britain. However, he has come yeah, over the top of the UK fighter. This is going to be very difficult for both of them now. The shots obviously are hard enough to make the Danish fighter reposition oh, himself. He's going to be looking to lift that arm off the side of the list. These two here clearly uh, are still locked in a bit of combat. They have not moved from there. Punches coming in. Oh, and, and missing. Some nice dodge there by the Great Britain fighter. It seems that the two have gone down in the see corner. The fatigue there coming through. And now it's a two versus one fight. That oh, Danish big fighter. Buckler to the face there. That his Great Britain uh, uh, teammate cannot let him go. I shield think his breaking shield there. Might, might be coming loose there. Yeah. He seems like he might be wanting to drop it. Um, and he has oh, taken it. taken down. That Russians coming in strong on the top and bottom of the list, uh, meeting the Danes. Maybe the Danes will try to re reassess their situation, but... Um, There's a run coming. It's a more hesitant Russian than we've seen so far. Oh, oh and it's tripped over oh the middle no. of the list. He will be so disappointed with that. May, there was uh, some great movement shown. Unfortunately, he tripped over. All we can hope is that there is a Dane that can take down a Russian with some hit, unfortunately. Oh, that's a big take down there. From Two Russians. versus one, meaning that uh, it, was, uh, it was gone. The advantage now to the Russians in numbers. Uh, getting them into some corners and getting them pounded out. That's right, yeah. And you can see there's a takedown there, and it is now five against two. You have that as you well. can see in the corner. And uh, look what's happening here. You've got big blows coming down against the Polish team. Though. Almost on his knees here, but he's using his weapon to hold himself up. I mean, see a fight in the distance there. Uh, I think that is uh, two Czech Republic fighters against uh, one Polish fighter. So it appears that the Polish fighters are outnumbered at this point. But holding their own, uh, clearly holding their yep. own. Breaking up that fight there, there might be some grabbing of a weapon right. uh, or the weapon being hooked on something. And the Czech Republic fighter repositioning himself to go take striking hard. And Again, run away trying that pincer move on the top and the bottom. Uh, not really pressing far, the Danish meeting them, but unfortunately, the, again, the runners in the middle not quite sure of what to do. Yeah, that's right. One well, Russian coming from behind. Charge there from the Russians. Taking Great out. move there, nearly goes down himself. That's excellent work from the Russians. Takes out another Dane in the middle there. And it's done. Charges the Russians the have Danes, won. Five to zero. See that Here, uh, the Polish fighters. Charging into the Finns. And, and this is going to be a difficult Finland fight for Poland. Finland, but there's a lot of movement from them. Already, one Polish fighter being let loose. Oh, that's a big takedown there from Poland. Uh, we're covering the corner right now, but there's some fantastic work happening in the center of the you field. See those charges? I think. Oh, that yellow and blue shield moving swiftly to take the Polish fighter's energy down to oh, the ground. Very impressive. You heard the reaction from the crowd there. And uh, now he's been locked in. Unfortunately, he needs to make sure that he can get himself out, as the uh, Polish do. Uh, are, are, oh, actually, there are even numbers. Um, fantastic work fighter. by that Finnish fighter. He's so strong. The great movement, he's got great vision. And they're getting a bit tangled here. You see a weapon yep. getting tangled. Punches coming through, yeah. really to uh, shake these fighters yeah, up. Yeah, the Polish are really bringing on the violence. To oh, the that yellow and blue shield has gone down, unfortunately, leaving the advantage in the Polish numbers. Yeah. Um, yeah. But hopefully that Finnish fighter in the center holds on to the uh, Polish uh, competitor um, as they both go down. So we now have a three to two fight. The Finnish still able to uh, possibly win this as, as uh, I well, wouldn't put it past them. There's some impressive work and they're really hot. Right. I, do, I don't see this boating well for the Finnish fighter, but if he's able to reposition himself oh, big and try to shift. Big coming down from the pole arm. I think he needs to let go of that list with at least one of the arms. Uh, he's trying to push his way back. Is it possible that he, that he, no, he still has a weapon? He's trying to get himself into a corner so he has the advantage. Um, Getting, uh, getting tangled up with the Polish fighter, now having it's been taken and he's down. taken down the Finnish fighter there. This is versus Poland round two. And we've still got a few substitutions there. And you can see the Black Knights there sizing each other up. 
They're definitely the large finish fighter. Unfortunately, one finish fighter already flipped in the middle of the field. Um, but oh, this large finish yep. fighter can, can hopefully hold his own against these two leather fighters. Oh, yep, a fantastic he's shot. Some big shots there. Unfortunately, we now have a 5 2 3 uh, bout. Some fast runners, and unfortunately, now having a uh, 4 2 2 fight. Not voting, voting well for the Finnish team, but he, uh, with the runner there uh, engaging the Black Knight, he needs to make sure that he can free himself yeah, yeah, that's and uh, get, a, get some sort of hip toss. Yeah. Uh, and unfortunately, the Finnish uh, fighter has been down. down. That will bring the end of the fight. Not willing to really stop the fight yet. <laughs> Same boat. Yeah. And now we cross to the uh, top field with uh, the Holden Czech fighter. Czech and Czech fighter holding on for dear life, not wanting to let that Polish fighter go, but maybe the Polish fighter actually is at the advantage. He seems to be the more relaxed one. Yeah, and he's uh, got the arm on the list as well. So I believe that's the uh, only skirmish which is happening in that list. It's a 1v1 at this point in time. Yep. I do feel that that Czech fighter needs to maybe uh, throw a few more dizzying shots. Yeah. He's not going to win just by wrestling him yeah. as, it, as the pole does have a link around that yeah. uh, around that list. That's it. And it's the legs not doing much here. No, he's not, it's a fairly solid kick. He certainly shook the legs of the, of the pole, but... I don't think the angle was right there. No. One leg being lifted there. If the Czech can make sure he gets some good good footing, no, the pole is trying to take advantage of those kicks coming through to get his leg behind oh, yeah. the Czech fighter. But um, with the position that uh, the Czech fighter has with his pole arm, um, he hopefully... Ooh, now the pole. Uh, oh, that's a great move there. Nice evasive move from the Polish time. fighter. Well, they must be absolutely exhausted, and these two now. And just on the lower list, you continue from France. One. Russia Another caught, Russian God. down. This may actually be the first oh, defeat for the Russians. Could, uh, however, there's some very aggressive fighting there from the French who have taken down uh, the Russian. Oh, now, and unfortunately, that leads to. It's being brought to the And that's the end of the fight. I'm sure the Russians. A pole oh, up is going to go to the wire as well. Seems like there's a bit of a break after a bit of a stalemate there, being told to split. Uh, we'll hopefully be able to cross to that well, action. But to start with the uh, usually fast French and oh, goes for the trip there, doesn't quite get it. This is Russian one versus France one. France need to hold on, unfortunately. Oh, that's a great takedown, up. however. He's very, the Russian's very lucky to keep on his feet in that situation. Very lucky indeed. Oh, big blows there from this Russian team. Unfortunately, it has been won by Russia all night. He's uh, now started. Oh, the Ukrainians going straight towards the British fighters. No, no soft there. hits there. Struggle straight at the list, but look how physical it is getting. Uh, the UK immediately going to the edge of the list. Oh, so trying to help their friends there. out there, yeah. He's taking advantage of the proximity of the fighters. And you can see here, however, that UK fighter needs to, he doesn't want to turn his back on the Ukrainian, he's going to find himself in no end of trouble going for a trip here. However, the Ukrainian has got his hold on him. The good. UK fighter is putting, doing everything he can to put his weight down. I think this one is going to be very, very close indeed. You can see how these uh, see the Ukrainians punches. are going to use the wrestling techniques to try and get down these UK one fighters. One UK fighter uh, down. He's already down, and that did pay off, the wrestling techniques there. Oh, Big bust, and that's a broken... Broken oh, pole arms. Got his another one. one hey, he has the time to do that as they do have the numerical advantage. You can advantage. see how battered those pole arms are. Just look at them. I believe they're just simply trees. And then he comes straight into Pavel Korzak. How about oh, that is two fighters and the down, Ukrainian mate. gone yep. down. So mm. they're, they're both out. It's very fair making sure that that Ukrainian understood that he was out. Yeah. We do have a uh, big four, shots two, here. Now. The UK fighter taking some serious punishment from that pole arm. Pavel Korzak needs to do the best he can to uh, free himself. Now he's left uh, one on one. Unfortunately, uh, oh, it seems that there was a, a Ukrainian yeah. down. It's now a three versus three. This oh, could be anyone's that's game. Stunning. Just look at that. How much has opened up? Now anything is possible. You can see the UK fighter. Uh, nice kick going in there. Up. He seems to have trapped his weapon. It appears uh, so. Nice solid shot to the head, but not enough. They're pausing. Uh, I think they're deciding whether they I'm might help their. Sure uh, something has been uh, called there. The Ukraine fighter keeps on hesitating. And a smart shot by the Ukrainian, but the UK fighter has regained his feet. It I believe that another one's come loose there, so but it's still three on three. This is Pavel a really close match. Would not let him go too far before he re-engaged him. It is incredible to see this uh, this competition happening here. Three versus three, and it could be anybody's game. I mean, you've got the two fighters in the middle there trying to get their energy up, waiting for the opportune moment. I don't believe that pole arm is really a fighting. Oh, and two down. Body contact. Surely that means the Ukrainian is now down. Well, I think that uh, should be called. In fact... And the hasn't. marshals haven't not, have not called it. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if his body did make any sort of contact. Yeah, that's the UK, true. UK fighter doing his best to try to. Oh, and, oh, and that is taken now down. Three against one, and that is called. Okay. 
it looks like the Israelis are taking it to Ukraine, meeting uh, Great Britain in the middle of the field. Straight in the middle there, you can see the UK fighters going straight into it, but they've got to be very, very careful. It will be taken up. The runs are sharp and fast. Ah, oh, to Ukraine, fighter taken down already. Very, very effective fighting there. This might oh, actually very change nice. it. Very nice. And we look here, you can see in one corner, there was a loose Ukraine fighter goes charging oh. in to the UK fighter. Both of them down Amazing there. teamwork there. Unfortunately, that but UK he's fighter. Had to the the marshal has said no. I believe it, he did save himself by landing into the corner and holding his own. As long as no torso yep. meets the ground, no third point of contact. Yeah, that's He's true. good to keep going. Uh, looks like there may be a bit of a discussion in the top list there. Quite the UK possibly. having the advantage now, I believe, with uh, four or five against three. Uh, uh, we'll see whether uh, Ukraine can, can pull anything back here with their hip tosses. Yeah. Uh, but I, 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 UK and the caliber of the UK team, yeah. I doubt it. You've got a, They've got a run here. Ukrainian so member coming in charge. hard. Goes straight. Oh, Ooh. manages to keep up. Supported by his teammate there. The two Ooh. of them are going to need to start working on grinding down that Ukrainian fighter. We're in for a big match here. <laughs> <laughs> Settle in. This is going to take some time. Um, well, no, so Ukraine trying to jerk their way out of that yeah. grapple. Uh, not quite working. We've got some hits coming up. I believe that's from Anthony Lamstall. Back to back with those Ukrainians, trying to make sure that uh, they have each other. Maybe not so smart, these shots from the UK fighters. They need that, uh, that third or fourth fighter need to yeah. reposition themselves. This trying to toss that Ukrainian piece. fighter, yeah. not well, that's working. Then they're both in a bad position. You can see those two UK fighters. He needs to kick away the Ukrainian's leg. He can't quite do it. This, this is tense. This is an incredibly this tense is fight. Very, very tense. And you can this tell like the, final. The, 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 the fighters are thinking of every possible outcome of every You can see taking away some of the legs. A great move there from the UK. Now definitely putting them in uh, favor of winning two against uh, five fighters here. Oh, this is very impressive work from the UK. However, you can see the tiredness of these fighters settling in. In terms of the exhaustion that they've experienced here throughout the entire day, but especially, oh, this. especially this fight. I don't know how they're going to get that Ukrainian down. <laughs> they need to start up for sweeping life. some of that's incredible. Unfortunately, it looks like he has gone down now. And that's a K. Ukraine moving in fast, pressing harder on the north that's side. Right. I think uh, they're runner almost very... getting forward. Uh, two pole arms uh, meeting there. Yep. You know. Well, he's going to be have to be careful. They seem to be caught out, but there's a charge there from the Ukrainian. They've got a loose run in the middle. Not Blocked enough to take there. him down. Still anyone's fight. Uh, we're seeing now, we see some tackles uh, ending up on uh, skirmishes against the wall. We see one UK fighter go okay, down off screen. Well, oh, that's true, yeah. Now the Ukraine are in control. However, wow. there is uh, yeah. big shots coming from the UK fighter. Unfortunately, another UK fighter down. This seems, looks like it's in Ukraine's uh, yeah. their strength. But as we do know, these things can change very quickly. Yep, I've seen these happen before. Some of the UK see. fighters need to do something drastic. They cannot stay yep. in those corners. They big all need to get out moving. Coming from this UK fighter. And that, I think, is going to almost seal the deal with a now 5-2 two, two yeah, fight. Almost, 5-2, so the Ukrainians firmly in control of this. It's only a matter of time. However, it is incredible how these UK fighters are standing and taking all this punishment coming from the Ukraine fighters and still giving as much as they get. They obviously want to stay here for as long as possible to try to seize every opportunity they can to down any of the fighters. But by standing still, Big it's not going to work for them. And the UK fighter just taking them all. He's having none of it. Yeah, it could drop at any moment, but yeah. chooses not to. Holding on for dear life, even if he's hanging by one arm. Three fighters against one, and he's still on. And he's down. He's been down for quite some time, that we fight. And we'll be now look into Russia one, driving into Poland. Poland in the center again, not doing anything, not wanting to weaken up and show any... Uh, any gaps to this. Uh, oh, the Russians, uh, uh, as in the past, they've had Oh, a and he's taken a Russia ahead. down. Oh, but unfortunately grabbed him. They should be standing that Polish fighter back up again as the Russian did very grab him. Very there. Big the strikes to the leg of the Polish fighter. Uh, oh. Very impressive from Russia. They're good teamwork. It is still, unfortunately, a 4-2-3. The runner is still free. There. That Polish fighter in the center that we can't quite see has now gone down with the Russian fighter. Yeah. Leaving two or three versus two. This still could be Poland's game. Uh, the only problem being, of course, Russia, heavy hitters. Yeah, How much pain can these Poland on the leg experience? Of that Polish oh, Polish, fantastic job getting out of that fight. Um, now finding uh, a Russian has uh, dropped his weapon. He needs to go back to the uh, edge of the arena. Oh, oh no! Very unlucky. Very unlucky there. Very has brought some time. But now we have Russia once storming into Poland. And you can see the size of these Russians. They're absolute fighting machines. 
Unfortunately, they really should do their best not to meet the Russians and instead change their energy. Uh, the Polish runner trying to meet yep. the uh, Russian runner in the middle, looking around to see if he needs to readjust. Unfortunately, the Russian takes advantage of that. Moves there from the Russians. Big One Polish big hits coming down. down on the Polish fighters there from Russia 1. Oh, can this, uh, can this be actually, oh no, a second Polish fighter has gone down now. Now we have a 5-2, oh, third Polish fighter, this is a 5-2, and unfortunately the game is over. And that is it for the Polish team there, Russia dominating some very, very to the uh, Israeli and American fight. This has been going on for quite some time, the Americans yeah. holding on uh, firmly. I think that's Austin Whitecarver there taking some, uh, <laughs> some incredible hits to the face. I think that's uh, Morgulis uh, trying to take out Austin but he's so fit he's in such good form that fighter you can see the intensity coming from the um, the captain of the American team yeah, can trying to give the face. advice the patience there in that corner it seems like he's holding on for dear life yeah might just be uh, a matter of timing uh, intensely I have been in a pin with them um, uh, with uh, some of the Israeli fighters and they do not give up yeah Colin being dragged out of the way there I think these two are going to just club, but you don't want to give too much space to this Israeli fighter. Israeli he's fighter is obviously away himself and he's going to go for a charge. He didn't quite However, do anything with it. He just repositioned himself to be close to his comrade. There's some big shots coming down from the oh, uh, Israeli. Fantastic there. work by the American grabbing at the face. Oh, that's Goodall. nice. That's Might actually take him all the way down. Well, that's and good move there. You can see the second uh, American there. But the unfortunately, the American uh, Austin is, uh, is is putting all his he weight down. Just get loose. Oh, that means and he has done so. That's now a two-two-one fight. The American needs to do something about uh, yeah. Michael Morgulis uh, to make sure that uh, he does not uh, take down Austin. Yeah. This Israeli, unfortunately, being kind of stuck in there. Very, very uh, uncomfortable for the Israeli who was on the ground there. <laughs> Michael doing some amazing work. Breaking uh, away, reassessing the situation. He is going to have to uh, go back, regroup. Starting training has got underway. Good run there, and you would find the one UK fighter out on his own, and he does go down. Big move there from the Ukraine. Awesome, amazing Smart shot. Strike there. Uh, looks uh, like the Ukraine has already the Ukraine won this one. now dominating. But still, this is UK2 who we're talking about, Battle Heritage. Uh, that fight. Quite possibly in uh, Ukraine. Great start there by the Ukraine. Some big kicks coming oh, through from the Ukraine. Amazing fighters. that they're both set standing. Uh, the Big oh. rushes straight oh. into the list of the UK fighters, slams down on the list. I'm amazed that UK fighter still has a spine. Incredible. Yeah. Big shots uh, coming in. Oh, oh. A nice shot yeah. there from Ukraine. Unfortunately, now focusing yeah. all their attention on Malnach with the from Battle Heritage. Five versus two match, it does not look good for the uh, Great Britain team. Uh, it doesn't. But they've hung on so well, and that is the end of it. Uh, no, I beg your pardon. Uh, I think that's Italy too, in fact, the stand corrected. However, Italia, they're going to need all Belarusia of their Italia, speed Lucha. to overcome the Belarusians. Belarus is doing well, but not as well as I think they usually done. The Italians yep. doing uh, better than I think they've ever done. So this oh might yeah, be quite an even fight. Them, that's right. One Belarusian down oh, on that, that side. That small uh, Italian one is incredibly fast and powerful. Another Belarusian taken and down an the Italian down. This is impressive work from Italy. Unfortunately, I do feel that there is a... Uh, Unfortunately, a three you to can two. See that one. He's got a They're right, doing a fantastic some. job, but they're going to follow it. Goes straight into that Belarusian fighter. Very nearly takes him out. However, he is on his own now, and it's three against one at the end of the round. Eight. Two of Italy versus Belarus. Again, a bit more careful start. Mm -hmm. Some fantastic work by the uh, uh, Italian runner. Okay, you can see that runner there. And he gets the fighter into the list, and that is uh, another Italian fighter taken down. Belarusians have they're the advantage so of numbers, there. unfortunately. Yeah, that's right. And I think they're going to take this at this point. Slamming into that Italian runner there, and now he is down. And they call that as and fast that is as possible. Called. He's most useful when he's uh, running. Oh, oh, and you can see that. He went in for the flying kick. It just didn't work. Uh, more confused, but ready to fly as the flag gets uh, dropped. Polish trying to break through on the south side, but uh, the nice Italians the meeting their strength. Uh, the Polish runner obviously uh, coming in strong and, and oh, having no one to stop him. Coming against those Italians, they're slamming down on their helmets. Mm. And, and you can see this one here, the Italian looks vulnerable, tries to go for the leg. However, there is help at hand. 
very smart uh, engagements and disengagements from oh, every very uh, close, post yeah. fighter. But they can't get fighting. stuck there. They need, to, they need to keep this engaging. Yeah. It seems like there's one Italian down for the numerical advantage to the Polish. And that is one Polish fighter down already. Two Polish fighters yeah, down. Lost Big advantage yeah. now. It's interesting, all that energy uh, just basically taken from underneath him. Yeah. And we get to that big Italian fighter there in the center of the list. Oh, that's a great takedown. Only, Systematically uh, removed. How about two of them going down at the same time? That's a so big now drop. We have a uh, two versus two setup here. This Italian needing to do his absolute best yeah. to uh, stand up against a strong Polish fighter. Yeah. Um, but Throwing uh, him around. This looks like the shield has been dropped. Yeah. He needs to be aware that these shots are going to come in. Yeah, that's right. Italia, of course, yeah. He's all he's got is a soft mid, and that means that he's out. Uh, Start of the fight here for uh, Italy. Oh, Italy trying to get an early charge. Now the Polish stalks from behind. Be very careful there not to lose his footing. But one movement for the middle there. I think this Italian team, in fact, have changed their tactics. One great take down there. Down. This may actually mean oh, that the Italian team will oh, go Oh, this through. could be good. That's uh, another big take down there. Uh, some po very smart Polish fighters repositioning themselves. You've got one member down on each team. That means four versus four. Oh, in that corner of the yeah, left of your screen. Yeah, you can screen, see that, can't you? One that Polish fighter being tossed right. over the shoulder. Yeah. And now we are at a uh, four to three with the favor in the, uh, with the uh, Italians. Uh, yeah, that's right. And they really need to uh, use their time and energy very wisely. But the Italians moments away from an epic win. Let's see whether this Polish runner can change anything. Unfortunately, and they're both, both down. down. It goes to three versus two. These two times desperately trying to drag down the Polish fighter. And they are some of the largest Italians. I, I, I feel sorry for this uh, Polish well, this fighter. Well, this team is George. They have some very, very big fighters themselves. In January, there was a WFC tournament where we saw some of the biggest fighters in Italy. Some great resilience shown by the Polish fighter. But how long can they hang on? And more importantly, what can he do? He's being pushed down, but there's uh, big not much jumping technique. headbutts there against that Polish fight. They need to break away from that list. It's very, it's a very complicated thing. I think the, the one who's fighting solo needs to be the one who's splitting. Uh, the big one. support now for Italy. So the Polish now being made to work for it. The Italians getting tired, but they've broken up now. Mm, giving him some space it might actually be a bad move uh, for uh, for that pole if it he doesn't. It means they've set apart and very nearly made a mistake there. That Italian oh. fighter it now goes to two against one, but it's coming very close to the end of the round here. It's Italy with the two to one advantage against this Polish fighter. Oh, and he is a smaller one, uh, not able to really withstand one of the larger fighters, but he needs He's this He's not even edge. holding on to the list there. He wants to take it to the fighters themselves and take them both down, hopefully get a replay with this round. I can't see him getting out of this if one alive. Italy very, very out. close to the win there. Knees to the back. This get that Polish pole fighter. Out. And He's now escaped at that point. However, he is still with a pole. He's watching. He's behind. And, and that is it! Italy! 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 An incredible shot. A bit of a risk that he's going to fight. Didn't really collect with anyone. Yep. Belarusian, very strong hit over in the left side of your screen. Yep. Uh, but unfortunately, no one being taken down yet. Uh, Belarusians getting tangled up along with the uh, with the Ukrainians. Some strong oh, punches coming in. Very aggressive fighting there from the Ukrainians. We went out holding on to this also. The great aggression shown by great uh, teams. I think there's a lot to be proven by this Belarusian yeah, absolutely. Uh, team. They, they've obviously come across Ukraine in the past. Yep. They've done fantastically in uh, this tournament. I don't think as well as they have done in their previous ones. But Still, the they got a medal, though, bronze in the pole arm category. Indeed, indeed. I'm meaning more Bohurts. And uh, yep. obviously, they're taking on one of the top tier fighters here. Yeah. But I think there's a little bit of um, uh, friendly relationship that's been going on for quite a while. Oh, for sure. So they're wanting to maybe uh, maybe give it to them uh, a bit harder than, uh, than anybody else. Oh, this is, In the uh, distance, you can see that uh, little tassel, uh, sorry, tussle with the, the weapon being caught. Yeah, um, right. Ooh, none, one Belarusian nearly taken down. Yeah. Uh, some strong shield punches coming through. These uh, these uh, skirmishers here getting a little uh, tired, I think. <laughs> Not able to do much with that fight, getting locked up together. Hopefully they'll be broken up and made to uh, re-engage. Yeah, and that is some, uh, it's very tense at the moment. I think we're gonna be here for quite some time. Imagine all being very strong fighters, even when they're not up against the list. Yep. Some smart moves there, trying to do a hip toss there by oh, the- Oh, he uh, might break his arm if he doesn't get out of that one. I think that's quite a dangerous position to be in. He's taken down the Belarusian fighter. Ukraine now, finally with an advantage. Yeah, it's one of those uh, complicated situations because obviously the shield uh, did, I believe, touch the ground, but no yep. energy, no effort was put on the shield, meaning that it was just That's a byproduct yep. of, the, of the toss. 
as we do get these punch shields that do extend yeah. sometimes up to a foot from the arm, it becomes uh, becomes tricky to make sure that if you are throwing someone down that your shield does not touch the ground. It's almost near impossible. Can the Belarusians change something here? Because that this may be the end of it if, they, if they're not able to uh, take down a fighter very effectively and very fast before they get tired. These Ukrainians are known for their endurance. Yeah, I think that's Ooh, right. Two of both them have gone down there, down there so Ukraine still with the advantage in numbers. It's now three against two. But uh, all skirmishes so have been taken the out there. He needs to I hold on to that list as hard as he can. Yeah, and I'm not sure he can. I think no, he's, he's been, been taken, taken away from it. By that Ukrainian. And the, both of them go down, which means it goes down to two versus one. As we, the uh, members at the top of the list have Big both shots went down there together. Straight to the head and back this of the Belarusian. This Belarusian has been uh, consistent in staying there the entire time. I don't think much has really phased him. But that being said, he also hasn't done much. So it's a question of whether or not he's able to actually pull out some moves. Yep. Maybe he takes someone down. Without being a fast fighter, without having any uh, energy to him, um, it might not work in his favor. You can see that big lean there. The Ukrainian needs to be careful that he actually, if he's going to do that, he needs to make sure he takes down the Belarusian. Otherwise, it will be one versus one. Both of those fighters, obviously, the, the Belarusian nearly letting go. A uh, sword underneath the arm from the Ukrainian, trying to wedge it, uh, wedge his uh, a weapon up, or wedge his arm off. And it looks like the uh, Ukrainian is now fighting his uh, arm strength to try to pull the Belarusian's arm off the list. It still could be anyone's game if they're able to take down one fighter. Um, the Belarusian, if he uses his uh, his energy there, he might be able to uh, twist. Yeah, he has. He's placed oh, his energy on top of that Ukrainian. That is amazing there. Might end up uh, obviously being able to swap him over. Okay, so, uh, it's a very tense moment there now that they're desperately trying to get the legs. Audience loving the, inten uh, the tension here. The Belarusian holding on strong. Yeah. Uh, but now they've uh, broken away. You can see that they're quite tired now. The Belarusian holding on tight. However, the uh, other Ukrainian fighter moving away quite slowly there. Trying to the rethink charge, his yeah. action. I don't think there's anything he can really do. Solid helmet taking the blows. Yeah. And striking at that shoulder there. That's got to hurt. Yeah. There's always a gap in the armor around about there. Smart move from the Ukrainian. Yeah. Uh, but Very this uh, maybe will inspire the um, Belarusian to actually do something about this and not just stay there. Uh, it's quite confusing as to why um, even though they have been standing there uh, nothing has been called uh, by as, as i believe 10 seconds passing oh oh there might have been a takedown there the belarusians changing his grip and yep. now receiving blows from the other fighter uh, maybe his job is just to tire him out for the second round oh, i think that's it yeah we're still only in the first Round of this match. I'm just grimacing at those shots that he was about to place on the back of the uh, Belarusian, as you can yep, see. Now living right over. You need to be careful, those shots aren't heading towards the uh, back of the knees. Yep. Um, he may actually be forcing this Ukrainian out very, very patiently. Yep. But, um, oh, oh he's that's a great down leg sweep. Kick. What a clever kick from oh, the Ukrainian. That was impressive, that. So annoyed, but of course, at the same time, Paul Michael uh, and his uh, endurance yeah, says something. Yeah. Now we have the engagement starting between the Belarusians and the Ukrainians. And here we go. Some strong Ukraine move by the versus Ukrainians. Belarus. Okay, a quick takedown there. By one Belarusian. The Ukrainian team charging into the Belarusians. Belarusian needs to take out a Ukrainian very effectively. Yeah. That uh, the Ukrainian repositioning himself. Nice move there. However, they're both going to go. And their body's piled up on the floor there. Or well, nearly Ukraine. down, nearly down. Well, we have now three Ukrainians against two Belarusians. Um, seems that the two-handers are to there. Now two away. Belarusians against one Ukrainian, the and big two two-hander. back to two against one. However, the oh. Belarusian there goes down. Fantastic effort from... Uh, they just went through, and you can see the early rush comes from this Russian team. Charges coming through there. And we're looking, there hasn't yet been a takedown, but there's some been... So yes. big shots coming through, and that Italian is almost Since out. Since one Italian really being taken down off to the side. He's going to be kicked out there, and I think, yes, the marshal has called him outside of the list already. Two Italians, a big three three Italian, down four Italians down, and that is the end of the round. And that is it, yeah, stopped. Semi-final, I believe. And a quick fast. charge Italy there. straight down the middle. Yeah, unfortunately, they were caught by the Russian runner. Maybe not the wisest, but at least engaging one of them apart. Well, that, so that says it all about this Italian team. They just go charging through. They've been absolutely relentless in their attacks. 
And that's how you go against the Russians. I think their tactics have been absolutely spot on. Unfortunately, they've already taken two Italians down, and this means it uh, might likely be already over for the Italians. Well, I wouldn't say that. Never say never. Look at the resilience of these fighters. They're so strong. Indeed. Diligently defending. Yes, they do go down now, and you Five can see them. Two. Oh, no, I don't know why that was called. There is another fight happening in the corner. That's it. No, that's <laughs> the poor Italian fighting himself. Uh, bad communication out. there among the, the marshals. However... It's three against one, so you've got to wonder, even if it's three against and one. Indeed. He and took the knee, all. so unfortunately it was. So oh, no, 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 he did not take the knee. He seems to be still be standing. Yep. He squatted for a second, but... Um, oh, and that is called. Maybe up. Hello, please introduce yourself. Shana Levy, I'm here supporting at Team USA. It's my first time at Battle Nations, and very excited to be here. Um, I love the camaraderie between the fighters, and it's very interesting learning so much about the sport. So, are you nervous for your team members uh, during the fight? A little bit at first, but I love to see the energy that everybody has, and I feel like we did really well this year, but it's really nice to see just all the different teams, and so yeah, a little bit nervous, but it goes away quickly. Uh, so, yes, team is one of the most important team during the f tournament, but uh, which team you like except the United States? Uh, I feel like Russia would be an obvious answer, but I don't know. Um, we'll wait and see. I like uh, the Italian team, but I don't know. So, uh, is this your first time in Barcelona? This is my first time in Barcelona. It's a lovely city. I'm having a great time. Okay, thank you so much for your time. We uh, welcome you here, first time, and enjoy your stay here. Thank you so much. Thank you. As we can see now, these uh, fantastic shot of the uh, of the Ukrainian fighters uh, teaming up against the American. The Ukrainians are battering into that American, uh, holding on steady though. Um, he's deciding to reposition himself to move on to um, that uh, American that has been unfortunately caught in the arms of the um, of the Ukrainian, holding on for dear life, uh, but at the same time trying to get that arm free. Big shots coming down from the Ukrainian, however, and I think he's actually quite stuck there. Seems he can't. He's not even trying to move uh, his arm. He now, he now has that arm free, and we have seen the Ukrainian and the American go down quickly, off to the right side. As mentioned before, this was delayed due to the review of footage, um, meaning that uh, the Americans may not have gone through, but it was clarified that they were going through. We can hear the chants from the stadium saying, USA, USA. Uh, the, uh, it looks like it might be a two versus two fight left here. I think they're actually saying Ukraine. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, it's too, very hard to hear all the way up here in the uh, USA box. Uh, sorry, in the commentary box. You can see a tight, a tight tussle there. Fight there yeah. Got to watch out uh, for these down bodies if they're not going to be tripped. They're a little bit further away from them than we expect. They might want to be clearing them out. Marshall is choosing. Oh, oh that's a big takedown. However, that USA fighter, I think he will be grounded as well. I'm not too sure. Well, perhaps not. I do think he went down into a squatting position. The round starting again, two against one. This is an incredible wow. fight. You see the Ukrainians at a, a distinct disadvantage here. This could be a return to the form of the USA we're seeing here. You can see them going either side of the Ukrainians, stalking him. And they're cutting him down, going straight into the list, trying not to let him get too close. And he's uh, trying to make sure that Ukrainian does not move, uh, yeah. to make sure he's in the way uh, from the ground. Now you see him uh, hacking away at the legs of the Ukrainian there, who's holding on somehow resisting all that way but he it's might in a be able nasty to push position with that ankle however indeed he might actually be able to push him in the marshal's making sure yep. uh, that there's no one here uh, kicking I that think leg out trying to get out. him swung out this might be damage to his left arm just hanging on with no it's in fact it's his right arm so I think he's at full stretch there i think i uh, know i think it is his oh, left, left arm, arm yes yeah, i think the right. american should really try to uh, get a weapon underneath that they've and, got to and get that, yank they, that up that's it, they've got to kick and loosen that right leg. He's holding on for dear life, doing a fantastic right, job, and he is down. Gone. Victory there. And we're going to round two, Ukraine versus USA. Shots. Early charges there. 
Not sure if it was a wise decision down the centre, yep. but it has. Oh, taken that's a big move out. there for the USA. A rush has taken down one oh, of the Ukrainians. Big kick there. Great defence from the Ukrainians. Incredibly Very so. impressive. It looks like the USA have the advantage here, though. Oh, I think they do. Great aggression shown from Colin the Americans. Look at the spikes going into the side there. Oh, and that's another down. Ukrainian fighter going down. There must be one in the corner, though. And the USA the... firmly in control of this fight as we see now charging into that Ukrainian. Wow. And it is now being called. That is the end of it. And USA have triumphed.